Okay, let's look at a few more rules. The division rule says that when you're dividing, again, when your bases are the same, so I have an x and an x, you subtract your exponents. So let's write that. When the bases are the same, when you are, we're going to use the division symbol, dividing, subtract the exponents. So this is the property where I can show you why um, anything raised to zero power is one. So let me show you an example. If I have five to the third power over five to the third power, the division rule says these are the same base. I can subtract the exponents. So that'd be three minus three, which is zero. And anything divided by itself, so if I had five divided by five, that would be one. Well, five cubed divided by five cubed is also one. So that's why anything to the zero power is one. For negative exponents, it's not considered in simplest form if you have a negative exponent. So basically when a base is raised to a ne negative exponent, change its location and you change the uh, exponent from negative to positive. So x to the negative a would become 1 over x to the a. So you move it from the numerator to the denominator, because remember this can be thought of as x to the negative a over 1. So you'll move it from the numerator to denominator and that exponent becomes positive. In this case, the negative exponent is in the denominator, so I'm going to move it to the numerator, and the negative a will become positive. Now, what you need to be careful about as an example, if I have 3x to the negative 2, what you need to be careful about is only the x it has to the negative 2 power. This 3 is actually to the first power, right? So it's 3 to the first times x to the negative 2 power. So only the x to the negative 2 gets moved. So the 3 stays in the numerator, and the x gets moved down, and the negative 2 becomes positive. Power to a power rule says when you're raising an ex uh, exponent to a power, you multiply. So this would be a times b. So when you raise a base with an exponent to a power, you multiply the exponents. And what you need to be careful about is if you have a number, so let's just do an easy one. If I have 2x squared raised to the second power, you can't forget to raise that 2 to the second power as well. So this would be 2 to the second power, and then x, 2 times 2 is 4. And then just simplify, 2 squared is 4. Okay, so that's kind of what this is saying below. When you raise a product or quotient to a power, don't forget to distribute the power to all the factors. It's really important. So x, y raised to the a power. This would be x to the a, y to the a. So everything in the parentheses needs to be raised to the a power. Same thing with this one. x divided by y raised to the a power. x to the a, I'm going to do the division this way, divided by y to the a. And the last one, same thing, don't worry about the negative exponent yet. First, let's just distribute it, and don't try and solve right away. Just distribute first, so at x to the negative a, y to the negative a. But I want to have a positive um, exponent, so the y is in the denominator. It needs to move up, and the x is in the numerator, so it needs to move down.